Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, thought I'd talk today about bug protection. What do you guys use to stop those pesky mosquitoes, black flies, and gnats? So let's roll that bee footage and get right into it. Most of the time the bugs affect you the most right around dusk we all know that so some of the things that we do is these off or cutters centronella candles these are pretty effective um, we've had good luck with them burn like 30 to 40 hours have three different wicks in them and you just set them out on the picnic table and it kind of helps keep some of those nasty critters away so this is one thing that we do this is a thermocell it's a funny looking contraption here uh, basically, it's got an insect pad, it has a chemical in it that heats up with an element here. And the element is fueled with a butane cartridge like you see here. So the disadvantage to this product is you have to continually buy the butane cartridges and you have to buy the summer cell pads which come in a little foil like this. But they last a long time, I found it to be very effective and we typically will grab this before we'll go grab the bug spray. So what you do is you take the butane cartridge, insert it in the bottom here and thread it in. Once it's threaded in, replace your cap and that's it. You turn it to the on position, which I have it in the on position now. Click this a few times and it activates it. And there's a little glowing a little glowing light inside there that is the heating element starting to heat up and this portion here will get hot it's not too hot to the point where you can't touch it but you do want to keep things away from it. it does say this is a hot surface so the, the pads come blue they come bright blue like this so this is a full pad and as the pads wear out three to four hours protection they'll start turning lighter blue like this and then from there they will turn white when they're fully used up so to change the blue pad this is the model 300 but to change the blue pad you just kind of push it through load in a new pad and you're good to go so now i'm ready and the scenario has the cartridge in it So you can see there's a slight difference, not much. So between the two models, I haven't really found much difference. Um, the grill designs are slightly different. This one here is the older model, the 150. This one here is the 300, the MR300. Um, really, they redesigned the grill they said in this one, so a little bit better for allowing the chemical to come out vertically. But otherwise the grill Slightly different design. There's a slightly different starting mechanism. This one just flips to the side. This one is a twist. Outside of that, not a whole lot different. So these are extremely handy. We grab these first off every time. 
is the first thing we grab because we do not have to put on bug spray. And the last thing I like to do is have bug spray before you're climbing into your RV or tent or whatever you're camping in. We find that they're very effective for fighting off mosquitoes, not so much for black flies. They're not designed for that, but they work really, really great for mosquitoes. So your refills for your thermos cell will come in a butane cartridge like this. And you'll also get these little foil wrappers that has the blue pads inside them. So you can get those when you purchase them, they come together like this and they're rated by hours of protection. So they match up the right amount of butane to the right amount of these pads to give you so many hours of protection. So you're going to go on there and buy, you know, um, 24 hours of protection, 48 hours, 72 and so on and so on. And the, obviously the bigger the packs of these that you buy at a time, the higher the quantity, the lower the price. But when you go to purchase one of these, I suggest you get the butane and um, pad cartridges right away. Uh, we ordered some on Amazon just not too long ago, but a week ago, and they are back ordered till August. So that's gonna be about a three week wait for these refills. So if you find them in a store, grab them up because uh, these things are getting to be a lot more popular. So when you're sitting around the table or you're playing cards, here's another option. Uh, we usually run these at the same time, but we use them as indirect lighting, not direct lighting. This is what I mean by that. Uh, this has got a insect zapper light inside. It also has a three-stage LED off the bottom. So when you press this on, you get one, two, three levels of light. It's got a little hanging hook in here. It's made by a company called Wisely. You can find them all over Amazon. We'll have a link in the description. But uh, it also has a bug zapper light, which you probably can't see, but there's a little bit of a purple glow in there. And the reason I say use these indirectly is if you put this right above where you're playing cards, you're gonna have little tiny gnats and that kind of thing that fly into it, get zapped, falling into your card play. We've had that many a times. So while we're playing our cards here, we'll try to move it off to the side, to the left, to the right, or we have multiples of these. We have two or three of them. We got them in a three pack at Costco at one point and uh, we'd hang one on each side of the table. That seems to work pretty good. But it gives you great light for playing cards. These are inexpensive. So if you break one, it's not a big deal. Um, they've got the nice carrying hook. So this is another option to help ward away bugs, specifically pesty mosquitoes. It also can sit on a tabletop like that and become a nice little uh, lantern, soft glow lantern. So if we absolutely have to grab for the bug spray, we try to use as little DEET as possible. Um, we found that the Sawyer makes this premium insect repellent 20% per carton. This is pretty effective. Um, 90% of the time, this will take care of it. This is if the other steps haven't worked and we have to go for a bug spray, we'll go for this. Um, use it in moderation and you can get a lot out of just a small bottle like this. We've used this all summer and not gone through the bottle yet. So this is the first thing we'll grab and if all else fails and you really, really are having problems with those bugs, then there's the good old DEET. We can get it many different brands. This just happens to be Coleman. Um, but go for the 40%, go something lower before you go higher concentrate. But if you absolutely can't stand the bugs and they're eating you alive, you're going to have to go for DEET. There's just nothing that repels the mosquitoes better than DEET. But this is our last step for us. And if you're trying to make your meal and the insects are really bad, you got the DEET on, but you really can't get them away. Then there's the infamous bug net. This is gonna stop any flying mosquito. This is gonna stop anything. If you really are having them flying around, buzzing around your face, your ears, your nose, your mouth, that kind of thing. And even with a bug spray, it's not helping. Get out the old insect net. We always carry these in the trailer. You just never know when you're gonna need them. We've gotten eight alive on some long hikes and we will never again not travel with one of these. One hike, we carried just one of these and it was not enough for three people. So we had to share and it was never again, but we never go into the woods without a bug net because there's just sometimes they will eat you alive. Now you see, I got a wide brim hat on. 
And a wide brim hat works well because it keeps the netting away from your face. Yes, it does reduce ventilation. You're gonna get hot and sweaty with this on, on a hot day, but you're not gonna get aid alive. And that's what we're shooting for. So one of the other steps that we use is a product called Sawyer's Permethean. I'll cut in some video here, but you basically take this product and you spray it on any of your equipment. It can be backpacks, it can be your hat, it can be your clothes, socks. They want a certain percentage of saturation. You have to use it in a well-ventilated area. You spray on the product, you let it dry after a couple hours, and it naturally repels bugs. It was, it was developed by the government way back when. It's very safe. Um, it's a synthetic chemical that is kind of mimics a natural uh, plant and I don't know what it is about it, but the bugs don't like it. So we spray all of our chairs and all of our equipment that we can with this Permethean. So when you've got those nasty little black flies and you've got little gnats flying around your ankles and you're trying to play cards or trying to eat your lunch, um, one thing that we found, a little home remedy, is some Vicks Vapor Rub. So you take some Vicks Vapor Rub just take a few dots of it and put it around your ankles and you would be surprised this would keep the black flies away. So this isn't so much for insects, but one of those biting bugs that can be a real nuisance when you're trying to play cards, you're trying to eat, and they're constantly chasing your ankles, uh, is Vicks Vapor Rub. It works really well. So one of the things we did was put a fan down underneath the picnic table and blow air across everybody's legs. This worked really well. It keeps any kind of bugs away from your legs and ankles. Just turn the fan on high. This is a three-speed Honeywell. So our, I love this fan. We've got like three of them in our family. Um, articulates in all different directions so you can set it like about like that to blow air across everybody's legs. It works really well. It sounds kind of strange, but it was very effective. So you know, about a video or two ago, we talked about the shelf and putting a shelf in our hiker trailer. Let me show you real world of uh, how useful that shelf is. Let's take a look. This shelf, we don't know what we did without it, actually. We are talking about it. So <laughs> we got our pile of buffs and masks for everything going on in this crazy world. Um, bottle of water for nighttime. I got my little Olight flashlight here. Um, this is our Blue Ridge Overland med kit, dob kit, and my Sony MX300 headphones. One thing on this trip that we added new was these mats in our 230 shower room. Kind of looking for a solution. Still not sure we're going to keep it. Um, I go into the changing room here. These are um, something we found at Ikea. They've got kind of a textured surface, a soft fuzziness to the top. With every other one, it's got a little bit of a rough spot. So it's really grippy. It's got a rubber back. Um, Sivist, if I can pronounce that right from Ikea's name. And I'm not sure exactly the size on it. Oh, there we go. Right there at the top. 40 by 60 centimeters. So basically a one by two. But yeah, these seem to work well. Um, basically, we were looking for something we could store easily. So we can take two of these, set them in the bottom of the floor here. It gives us something that can get wet, keeps our feet dry. So we just put two of them together. As you see here, works out well. Because it's a standing area for any kind of changing. They can get wet with rain, water from a shower, anything. So we're going to try those out. The other option is to get those kind of the plastic grate type mats where the water falls through them. Kind of looking at those. If anybody uses those for their shower awning enclosure, let me know what's been working for you. I'd love to hear from people in the comments on what to use for their floor. One thing I found on this trip, been testing out this, this controller system. Um, controller system works really well. Haven't had any issues. It's running my rail lights. Um, the one issue I have had is with the cigarette plug. For some reason, that thing went bad on this trip. So, I don't know if I should continue to mount it that way or if I should mount it horizontally. Not sure. Wonder if that caused the failure. 
So that's something that when we get back is going to definitely have to be replaced. But so far, review will be coming on this soon. Um, really impressed by this controller. I'll tell you all about it in a future video. Found another use for the Lucy lights. You just take the cord and wrap it around a tree. The light pods kind of sticking out. They work really well. Kind of illuminated right by the campfire area last night. And then the controller, you just set that down on the ground and it recharges during the day. Nice way to use them. So what do you guys think? What do you guys use for bugs? Uh, specifically mosquitoes, biting flies, and gnats. Uh, leave it down in the comment. We'll start a discussion, talk about it, see if there's something I missed. Uh, is there something that you see here that you use or don't use? Um, something that I um, could try out. So let me know. Um, like, share, and subscribe. Everything here we'll put in our Amazon affiliate store. If you feel generous, purchase any products through that, you'll definitely help on our channel. So hopefully you guys can get out and do some camping, and we'll see you on the next video. Take care.